Warhol inspired painting, we first se separated the portrait into six images. We used Photoshop to edit the image and then we printed six images out and then we pasted them. Well, we reversed the image first and then we pasted them there so you can see it from this angle. And then we watercolored. Then I used gold flakes in different ways. So I made different symbols. This is a kind of like a cross. It's a little abstract, so nothing is too formulated. You have some at the top, some that outline her. This is supposed to be kind of like a crown and then this highlights her jewelry. This is like a halo and this is kind of like a sun and then this highlights her hair. I use the gold flakes because gold symbolizes wealth. It symbolizes uh, like a sort of like heavenliness, divineness about her. It, we're trying to idolize her. That's my purpose because she is a figure who's done multiple like good things and I just really wanted to highlight that. And I use these different colors. These colors are very vibrant, they're saturated. Um, some of them are a little darker than others, but usually like a lot of it is very colorful, very vibrant out there. Utilize basic symbolism. So you could usually identify like this would be a halo, this would be a crown. They just highlight things that were already there. Like if you just look at it, you'll be able to know what's going on when Cicely Tyson was younger so this was not in her later years. I learned that not only was she a person she was an idol to a lot of people so a lot of people praised her they appreciated her work and we, we as people can still be inspired from her even after her passing. African Americans hold Cicely in such high regard. She would only do roles that served us as African Americans. She kept her way, she kept her class, she kept representing us, and she remained Cicely Tyson. Light it up. Oh, How you been? How you been, my brother? All along, what I've been. 
Oh, we thinking about each other. It ain't even been that long and feel like 16 years. Been with me since my 16 years, seem to can't shut a tear. Since you been gone, it been going down, where I know I'm known to kill. It's been so hard for the live life, and that's the real. I'm like, Lil Dave, how you been doing? I've been still in the gun. I'm like, Lil Tug, what you been doing? I've been still in the struggle. Lil John, you know how I be doing to my dumb one that I love. Lil Dump, you know I miss you, hope you watching over your little brother. How I been holding on, I know, no. You ain't here, I'm still breathing after all, I should be gone. Thankful that I'm still living, you know I just want you wrong. How you been? How you been, my brother? All along, what I been? Oh, we thinking about each other. Know how we got it, we come straight from the gutter You know me still out here hustling Know we'll never stop taking Still hold it down for our brothers Know how we got is each other Plus more time, never hurting for nothing Wish you could see how we bubble You gone to me, I never lost you So together we forever win Slip one time, we lost you So we strapped the talking to the ten. Kill one, then we kill one back to back This shit won't never end Right or only been, I got his back So I forever ten. How you been? How you been, my brother? All along what I been about each other How you been? How you been, my brother? All along what I've been Oh, we think about each other
We're back, sweetie. Huh? Mom and Dad. I swear on my life and the river sticks I never thought it'd be you I miss Now I'm dangling by the ankle somewhere cold Like Sisyphus pushing that rock of hill Or echo falling for a daffodil You lured me like a siren to the shore Now I can't keep this love What's up, my boy? Jasmine and Mark, I'm gonna get the tripod over there, you heard? So why are they going to the bathroom? It's getting too stuffy in there. You're right. Plus, that freak is in there. I don't know what he's doing here. What are you 
think we're smarter than the proverb? I'm not sure. Who's a bad guy? Who's who? Dang, I forgot my AirPods. I can't believe I really left my headphones. Is someone there? Nobody there. Let me just hurry up and go. in here. She's always leaving me. I don't know why I'm friends with her. Ah! Oh my god, is she okay? Oh my god. What happened? I think she's dead. Well, did you shook her at least? Of course I shook her. Oh my god. We gotta tell the others, come on. <sighs> I've been gone for a while now. What do you think? Mara's dead! Where's the tripod? Someone's dead. Don't worry about the tripod right now. I'm so tired anyway you put it now. This is a part of life. What are you guys even happening? Are you with her? With you, baby? I was with you before. Hi. I was just getting the tripod and then I heard Crystal scream. Yeah, because she went to the bathroom with me and then all of a sudden she was dead on the stairs. Well, she shouldn't have been dead then. Why did you say something like that? I was just asking the question that's supposed to be asked. It had to be one of you guys. You know, so I'm Jackie, you know? You can't even kill Crystal. She was with her the whole time. This is going nowhere. I'm out of here. Where are you going? We didn't even finish answering the question. Don't worry about it. Why is it dark in here? I can't believe these people, like... I don't just buy them. It's like we're getting nowhere. This is what happens when you go to school with freaks. What's taking them so long? I don't know, why don't you go check? Crystal. 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 Jasmine. Jasmine. Jasmine, Crystal's dead. What? Come look in the control room. Wow, she's really dead. That's the second day, right? I can't believe she didn't smell the bleach. David, what did you say? I'm going to see where Mark went.
Mark, come here. I'm gonna kill her. suffering and being bullied by all four of you guys. <clears throat> you guys deserve to die, especially you. You're psychotic. How do you kill them? How did the first victim die? <laughs> Pushed her down the stairs after bashing her head in with this specific black tool. How Crystal died. Oh, I put bleach in her water. <laughs> and I add a little flavor to it. <laughs> and how you're gonna die? I'm gonna bash your head in with this that I killed the first victim with. Okay? Okay. You're crazy. You're never gonna get away with this. I'm not crazy. I'm a psychopath. You're gonna die after I bash your head in. Woo! All right, hit the lights, please. All right, what do you guys think about your film? Why did that fool hit me so hard? Didn't kill them. By now, kill him and them. My grandmother, 
Then I sent her on the iron about something. Told her how I gotta stop ducking. I was gave her purses. No one in town, I was I ain't know this person. Stole my heart, don't know where you run, where you from. You love me along with fire in my lungs. You just left me to burn, baby. I don't know where to start searching to find you. I don't know a place the devil will hide you. I don't know what should I turn. Don't know why you want to burn me down. Begging you to save me. I'm flaming. I need water now. Tears down my face. Broken from heartbreak. Covered in face pain. For the high my shine. Need you to heal my pain. No one who I could blame. Just hit
What are you doing here? Why are you dressed like that? What do you mean? Oh, you know, like a freak. freak. freak, freak, freak. The bell. See you later, freak. <laughs> Yo, which part must our falls pass then? Huh? Your language is vegan. Which part of Mr. Force class then? Ah, with the book, with the class. Ah, with the book, with the class. March 2023, a short film by Tyson Animation. A short story of two unlikely friends. Until an unexpected tragedy strikes. Follow our hero, Petey. As he meets some interesting characters. That helps him search all corners of the ocean. And realize that the friends he made along the way were worth every penny. March 2023. Don't cross at me. Everything will be okay. Maybe you'll make those friends back. Maybe things will change.
Welcome to the Axel and Blobby Show. I'm here, Mickey Mouse. Hey, so um, you wanna hear a joke? Why should you never send a sub down to the deepest part of the ocean? Because the bread will get soggy. You're my best friend. <laughs> Sandwich.
Meu tubo. I don't know how your team is even winning. Bro, your team is not even good, hey, Nikisha. Like, y'all not going nowhere. So, why are you late to class? Huh? You know what? Go to detention. You're failing anyway. Mm. I'm over here laughing like I got detention for being late. Who gets detention for being late? I got detention for skipping. I mean, the difference is you was actually skipping. How did I get caught? Be quiet. You're in detention. Hello, is this Mr. Johnson? Mm -hmm. Please report to the main office. You parked your car in the wrong spot and it is about to be told. Be here immediately. Okay, I'm on my way. Yeah, I yeah. was late. I was talking to you, Keisha. What's the problem? You heard that, bro? Let's go check that out. Nah, I didn't mean that. Come on, bro. I was just on my trip. Not like that, bro. Oh, bro. Somebody. Shakim, Shakim, Ertz, come. What should we do? Ertz. Bro, what should we do? Bro, we, we should split up. We should split up. You're right. You're right. I go find some help. You go find the others. Come on. I know that laugh from anywhere. Ernst? What, what? You don't know what you're talking Preview. about. Ernst?
come on, it's me. I don't wanna hurt you. Come on. Oh. Hurry up and leave. No! No! Hi, my name is Naomi Lenius, and I am the student correspondent for Tyson Studios. Today we're here with the topic, if you have a favorite dessert, what is it and why? Let's go find out. Today we're here with... Marcelay. Hello. <laughs> so what's your favorite dessert? Tres Leche. And why is that? Because my mother usually gets that for me, so I ended up becoming more comfortable with the dessert, so I ended up liking the dessert. Do you have any first memories with it? I remember my mother getting it very late at night and I had a sweet tooth at the time, so I was really just craving anything sweet. So just that immediate exposure to some sort of like sweetness just caused some sort of endorphin in my head. And I was like, oh, I really like this. Yeah. That's awesome. Today we're here with... Jimmy Hawkins. <laughs> What's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert is banana pudding. <laughs> Why is that? And I'm talking about homemade banana pudding. With the slices of banana, mm -hmm. the vanilla wafers, mm -hmm. okay, and then the banana pudding mixed in with it. Mm -hmm. I like it because the taste is amazing. Can't get any better. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's, no, it's a great taste. Anyone will like it. If you like it, if, if you like bananas, you really enjoy it. Banana pudding, that's my favorite. Okay, today I'm here with Stephanie DeRoy. So Stephanie, what's your favorite dessert? Why? And do you have a first memory with it? It's actually ice cream, and it's because it has a sweet and savory taste in it that just helps me calm down. And it actually helps me cool off on a hot, sunny day. And my favorite memory of it was when um, my family had this whole picnic, and it was like, we just had dinner together. And my mom just made a bunch of food, and I just wasn't feeling myself. I needed something cool, soft, and gentle just to help me out, my taste buds. And there was ice cream in the fridge. My mom said, you want cake or ice cream? And I was just like, ice cream will do, because it just this helps me relax and it just tastes good and ice cream never tasted any better that day. I agree. Today I'm here with Abdul. What is your favorite dessert? Why? And do you have a favorite memory with it? Um, my favorite dessert is chocolate cake and why I like it is it gives me a memory of being a little kid and my favorite memory with it is when I went to a restaurant to have some and there was sprinkles, whipped cream and it just made me feel like a toddler, like it had so much flavor, it just made me feel big. <laughs> That's so cute. Today I'm here with... Rakayla. So, Rakayla, what's your favorite dessert, why, and do you have a favorite memory with it? My favorite dessert is vanilla ice cream, and why is because it's simple, but it tastes very good, and my favorite memory with it is when me, my uncle, and my mom went out, and Everybody got vanilla ice cream that day, and we all just sat around and had a cool conversation. That's awesome. Today I'm here with... Miss Clerkin. So, Miss Clerkin, what's your favorite dessert? Why? And do you have a favorite memory with it? My favorite dessert is vanilla soft serve because it's something that I could put lots of stuff on it, sprinkles and Reese's peanut butter cups and such. It's very versatile. And my favorite memory of is that when I was little, I grew up in Jersey City, and once a year we went to the Jersey Shore with my dad, 
and he would take the six of us to get soft serve ice cream and that was a big treat for us and I always got the vanilla because he loved vanilla too. And now I take my nieces and nephews down the same place to get soft serve ice cream. My father has since passed so they share that memory as well. That's a very nice tradition.
Hello, my name is Kyler Austin Anderson Hurdle II, and this is the things I'm grateful for in the past, present, and future. In the past, I was grateful for getting into this school. Because of that, I was able to learn and experience so many things. And also, I am grateful to a show called One Piece. It got me through a tough time as a child. But um, in the present, I'm grateful for all the friends that have stuck with me till now, which is Isaiah, Calvin, Tay, R Ricardo, Mercedes, and Jefferson. And also, I'm grateful for my life that I'm able to still breathe air. Um, and <laughs> I'm grateful. The things I'm grateful for in the future will be, um, I have to say, my imagination because it will definitely help me with my future career as a film major. And also, I'm definitely grateful for maybe my friend, my friendliness. It will help me establish greater relationships in the future. Again, I hope you enjoyed this segment. My name is Kyler, and this is a Sissy Tyson production film. That you can be yourself and an individual if you are comfortable with not everybody liking you or how you think. Uh, if you're comfortable with going against the grain. If you're comfortable with, you know, people making fun or saying really nasty stuff. Uh, if you're comfortable with all of that, you can be yourself. I can't believe I
you cheap electric ladies, will you sleep? Or will you preach?